All right, Chris, thank you. Well, it is Wellness Wednesday, so we have JT in studio to talk about, well, staying well, and of course, some great tips as always as far as staying healthy and fit. And today, we are talking two things to guarantee progress in the gym. Because yes. if we're going to the gym and we're making these changes, we want to ultimately see progress. Correct. But we don't always see it as quickly as we want to. Or at all. Or at all. And that gets super frustrating if you think you're eating right and you're going to the gym five or six days a week and right. you're spending an hour there and you're not changing at all. It's a good reason to stop. A lot of people are like, you know, why do I go through all this if it's not going to change? Right. right. You don't see those results, so you just stop it all. Yeah. Together. And we want to prevent that. Yes. So, so, so tell us, what are those two things that we need to keep in mind and, and how do we stay on task? Right out of the gate, variety and intensity. Okay. Right? So doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, right? The definition of insanity. Yeah. People go to the gym and they do the same things. They have been for years. Guys mm -hmm. are probably more notorious for it than the ladies are. They go and they do the same upper body workouts and they don't do any cardio or they don't work on flexibility or mobility. So what you should do is you just start to kind of boil it down to what are your goals? What's the reason why you're going in the first place? Mm -hmm. What are you trying to accomplish and start it from there? Okay, yeah, and just always have that variety. Don't stick to the same thing every That's right. time. Okay, right. and then when you say intensity, yep. what, what are we talking here? Most people just go in and go through the motions, okay, right? Yeah. If the set starts to get a little uncomfortable, they stop. Um, the cardio is the same level. Like if you do cardio on a consistent basis, a good example would be somebody that goes and does the treadmill for 60 minutes, you know, five days a week. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you changed the level? When's the last time you ran instead of walked? When's the last time you increased the incline? When's the last time you did a different piece of cardio equipment? Again, the yeah. variety, but then the intensity level of that too. If you're not watching your heart rate and you're not pushing yourself, if it's not uncomfortable, your body's already adapted to where you're at. It's not going to make any more changes. Right. It's good I where it is. That. I see what you're saying. Also, yep. you know, maybe you just want to do some running, but maybe add some sprints to it, right? Where you're Correct. going a little bit faster yeah. or, or you're if challenging you're, yourself. That's right. Or if you're just, if you love to run, then start mm -hmm. pacing yourself, right? Yeah. If I'm running a 30 minute 5K five days a week and I never try to increase that time, <laughs> I'm capable, right? right. There's no changes right. coming if I'm okay. already able to do it. Yeah. So the intensity, you know, level to get yourself up to where you can start to make some of the changes. Yeah, well, definitely great tips. And, you know, JT, we're getting into that time where we're about to see uh, the new year. A lot of people trying to make, you know, New Year's resolutions. And a yeah. lot of those are going to include signing up for a gym or maybe just trying to do things more at home, being sure. healthy. So if there's one more tip you could maybe give people to those that are, are wanting to do that and have that on their list, how do they make sure that that New Year's resolution is going to stick? Because I know that's a tough one yep. when it comes to that. Sit down and write the goal out and then reverse engineer the goal. A lot of people write this big goal out, want to lose 50 pounds or 80 pounds or whatever, but they don't build a map to get there, right? So it'd be like me saying, I want to go to California, but don't turn the GPS on and just take off driving, mm -hmm. right? I may or may not ever get there. So reverse engineer the goal, take it back to the beginning and say, what is step one to reach that goal? And then what is going to be step two and step three and step four? And you write those down and you literally check them off the list and you'll get it 100% of the time. All right, well, that, that sounds easy enough. There you go. Great tips as always. Thank you so Got much, uh, JT. And of course, you can find this online as well, mypanhandle.com. We'll be right back.